what's happening over here in our papers, but uh, what's happening in Hollywood? Well, let's find out. We're joining our showbiz correspondent across the pond. There he is, Carl Schmidt. Good morning or good evening to you, really, Carl, isn't it? Or good afternoon. It depends where you are. How are you guys? We're, We're very good. good. Listen, I'll tell you, I wouldn't like to be uh, John Travolta. There are there are now too many stories, aren't there, um, about John Travolta and his um, sexu sexuality emerging. Yeah, you know, the latest bombshell is that his pilot of uh, six years is about to spill all the details in a uh, tell-all book. The guy's name's Doug Gorbiter. He was John's pilot back in the 80s, and according to uh, John's former secretary and Doug's ex-boyfriend, he did a whole lot more than just fly the plane. Now, the National Enquirer is reporting that he's got two writers lined up to tell uh, the whole story and, and spill the beans. This is the story that's not going away for poor John Travolta at the moment. And what is John Travolta saying about yeah. this? Does his wife comment? Uh, any reaction from his camp? He's saying absolutely nothing at the moment. There's, there, he's, he's only sort of appeared once in public since all of this blew up back in May when he was slapped with a couple of lawsuits uh, from some masseurs who said uh, allegedly that he uh, was rather inappropriate with them. So nothing has been said. It's a, it's a tricky one, you know. Uh, he's damned if he does and he's damned if he doesn't, I kind of feel. Poor Kelly, though. Yeah. Uh, this could be this book, if it comes out, could be the final straw. Uh, I, I just find this a very, very interesting situation. Pamela Stevenson's here with us today, and obviously from your psychology point of view and whatever. I just wonder, would people think any worse of John Travolta if these stories were true? I, I have to say, I have met him. He's one of the nicest He's guys charming. that I, I have ever charming. met, and, and there's a lot of them that aren't very nice, mm. but he, he, he's lovely. Mm. I, I, well, you know, I mean, people come up with a story about somebody and it probably only increases their popularity and then they can do the mea culpa and go to rehab, whatever mm. it is. I mean, but that's say the reality. Was, say you have a man in a marriage and, and he is gay and he is, he is seeking affairs elsewhere. What, why, why does he want to keep that secret? Why doesn't he just come out and say, look, Well, he has a, a religious um, affiliation that yeah. makes it very hard for him to, right. to be perhaps be who he really okay. is. Okay. Well, well, I'm I think, sure you know, we'll... You've got to uh, um, say, haven't you, here? I mean, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter, absolutely. Age, absolutely. You know? I mean, but it is this day and age, and people will talk, if it's in the National Enquirer, they're mm. going to be talking about it. Mm. Uh, Carl, Demi Moore, there seems to be uh, some concern from her daughters that maybe she's not doing too well again. Yeah, that's right. You know, uh, Tallulah and Scout and Rebel, all concerned, and thinking about having to take rather drastic measures like an intervention. Now, things have been strained between Demi and her daughters, most recently when she didn't allow Ashton at uh, Tallulah's high school graduation. I mean, he is her ex, come on. But friends and family around the actress are becoming increasingly more concerned with her erratic behaviour, fears of a relapse, which we hope isn't the case. No, no, no and um, she's got her family around her, which is good. And, and uh, very quickly, we never have enough time with you, Carl. Um, I gather Hollywood's golden couple, Angelina and Brad, uh, they, they're having a party, a, a, a Olympic party here, and they've got some royal guests that they're interested in inviting. Well, that's true. Yeah, you know, it's not, that she, it's not enough that Angelina is now wearing uh, Kate's favourite designer. She's uh, now invited Kate to their Olympic-themed party, which is going to take place at the Victoria and Albert next month. It's all uh, to raise money for sports relief, and I think they're honouring Muhammad Ali on that evening. So Hollywood's golden couple, Britain's golden couple, all makes sense, really, doesn't it? It'll be a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Have you got your invite yet to that, the Angelina and Brad well, party? The thing is, I probably will, love, but you oh. know, it always comes but you have to have a plus one. And they always come to Eamon Holmes Plus. Plus one, yeah. which is me. If you maybe changed your name to Holmes, people might realise you're married to me. Maybe that one. Oh! <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's the problem. Is that still bothering you? Two years on and I'm still Langsford. Only for work. Anyway. Spy car. Th thank, thank you, Thank you Carl. very much indeed. <laughs>